I filmed and edited this whole video, but it doesn't really make sense anymore because as I am filming this little clip, it is currently July. It's like middle to end of July. <laughs> and everything else that's in this video was filmed in like May and June. So I apologize. I have been MIA and honestly, I just needed it. I had a really stressful end of the school year with packing up my whole room and stuff. And I just did not even want to edit the footage because I did not want to relive it. So I had to be like detached for a while before I could like mentally prepare myself for that. So as of today, it is now edited so I'm excited for you to see me tearing down my classroom and all that fun stuff thank you for sticking with me and I've gotten so many kind messages and comments over on like Instagram and other places asking when I'm gonna put up a new video so I apologize for keeping you in the dark for so long but I'm back with this video today and if you'd like to see any videos this summer let me know and I can possibly film a couple like sit down videos I will do a room setup type series again as well but it probably will be in the course of like just a few days because it doesn't sound like we're gonna get back into our school very early so anyways let's go ahead and jump into the rest of the video here we go <laughs> Hello, sweet friends. Welcome to a new vlog. If you are new here, my name is Kim. I am a second grade teacher in West Michigan and I'm packing up my classroom. So I've posted a few of these vlogs already, but I keep getting so many questions in the comments. So here are your commonly asked questions really super fast. I am not moving classrooms. I kind of am moving classrooms, but I'm not moving classrooms. I will have this classroom next year, but my whole entire school is going to be under major construction. So every single thing that is in the classroom has to be out by the last day of school, which is June 10. So basically like the kids leave at 11.52, everything has to be out by noon. So by the time that I walk the kids out to the buses and walk back in, like I can't get back in basically. So it's really sad. I wish we had like a week after school ended to do all of this. So that way we weren't like having everything down when the kids are in here and having all these boxes while the kids are in here. It's really, really sad, but it is what it is. I have to just like follow the guidelines that I am given. And so that's what I'm doing. So my last day is June 10. As I'm filming this right now, it is May 30th. So I am at the tail end of my packing and I still have a lot to do, like an awful lot to do. As I'm filming this right now, it is Memorial Day, and I would much rather be, you know, enjoying the beautiful day outside. However, I have a lot to do. So I am here. I'm going to try to be here until probably about 2-ish. It's like 11 right now. So I'm going to be here until 2-ish. I'm going to try to get as much done as I possibly can and film what I can as well. I have gotten a lot packed. I have a lot of boxes packed in my room right now. But as I said, I just have so much to still do. So there are certain things that I can't pack up yet because we're still using them. But there are a lot of things that I can and I think pretty soon I am going to take down the wood wall, which makes me so sad because I think it's so beautiful, but I don't know. I don't, I haven't decided if I'm going to do that today or not. I did text my mom and I said, Hey mom, if you're free, you can come hang out with me at school. So we'll see. I haven't gotten a response from her, but we'll see if she ends up coming or not. And I am just going to go ahead and kind of get into it. I don't really have a rhythm. I don't have any particular way that I'm going to start today. I'm just going to like start throwing things in boxes because there's a whole lot going on in here. So actually I will walk you around. I'll show you what the classroom looks like right now. I came in on Saturday for a while and then I was thinking I might come in yesterday in the morning and then we were hosting and so I did not because I didn't want to leave when I had like friends over. But yes, I'm going to walk you around. I'll show you what it's looking like and then I'm going to get started. Woohoo! Okay, I must have accidentally unplugged my microphone for this part, so I'm doing a voiceover, so sorry, it's not exactly perfect, but this is what the cabinet was looking like. Oh my gosh, still so much stuff in there that I had to organize, and then also just in my room. I mean, I got a lot done. There were a lot of boxes. However, if you start looking around, like, oh my gosh, there's just stuff everywhere also I had these ones like right in front of my desk which was like a bit of a tripping hazard not the best but also like I just got to the point where I was running out of space and I wasn't really sure like where the best place was to put stuff so you know it was what it was and I had my stage open I was emptying that out lots to do in there and then on the kids desks too I had stuff just like piled high stuff literally everywhere oh my gosh watching this back now it's literally like <laughs> giving me the heebie-jeebies watching it back because I remember how incredibly stressed I was during this time it was so stressful it was so much and like look at my boxes they were all breaking the kids kept like tripping over them <laughs> like it was not fun 
So I had some boxes that were already made. One of my coworker helped me just like make a bunch of boxes so that way I could start packing inside of them, which was so sweet of her. And then I had so much still in the back of the room as well, like on my shelves, but also like in my back room. I got a lot done, but also like there's just so much to be done. There's so much stuff in a classroom. <laughs> Quick warning that there are some flashing lights in the next couple of clips. Okay, so now it is many days later. It is Sunday, it is June 5th, and I am here in my classroom running all around, and things have changed quite a bit since I saw you last. Also, yes, I do have a disco ball going right now, and it's because I've decided if the room's gonna be so sad with like all these boxes everywhere, then life is still gonna be a party by having our disco ball plugged in. So that is why that has been over there. I've had my disco ball in my classroom like all year, and usually I just turn it on for like dance parties and special occasions, but nope, for the last week, it just always stays on. Like if the lights are on, or if like the little like fairy lights and the lamps are on, then the disco ball automatically comes on as well. So it's been a good time. My kids are here for it and it's in the back of the room so it's not like super distracting because usually they're facing like the front board, but it's just kind of fun and it adds to the vibes, you know? So anyways, I have gotten a ton done. I still feel like I have so much to do. It is our last week of school this week, so I need to have every single thing packed up or out of here by Friday, which is absolutely wild. So I've gotten a ton done, like I said, and big, huge thank you to my mom because she actually took three days off of work last week so she could come in and help me out. So she spent all Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday here helping me pack stuff up. So all of the cabinets and cupboards are officially completely cleared out. All of the bulletin boards in the front are gone and down, and it's honestly looking so sad in here. Also, we have a field trip tomorrow. We're going to a big museum in another city, a bigger city near me, so that will be so fun. But also, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have... Sorry, I'm oh. having trouble. But also, I'm kind of sad because I'm going to have my parent volunteers in here tomorrow morning, and they are going to see like all of the sad boxes and stuff too, which I feel like my kids at this point have just accepted that it's like our normal because like every teacher in the school's room looks like this right now pretty much so it's still sad though so I'm gonna have parents here tomorrow morning and they're probably gonna be like oh my gosh it looks so sad in here <laughs> so anyways it is what it is but I have some boxes like just out in the open right now so I definitely need to do something about those before I leave for the night and then I do want to prepare a couple of things for our field trip tomorrow so yes I'm going to pull you off the tripod and show you around, show you what it's looking like, and then do a few more things. I don't wanna stay here too terribly long because it is pretty late right now. It's already like 7.30, so I don't wanna stay super long, but I am gonna stay a little bit of time. I actually was here for a little while earlier. I packed up some boxes, and then I had to go do an order pickup, so I literally just put all my groceries in the school fridge. <laughs> a minute while I'm like working in here and so I don't want to stay like I said super long I want to go home at a reasonable time and get my groceries home and put them all away and all that fun stuff but yes I will be here for a little bit and I want to show you what it's looking like so here we go <laughs> Okay, so I still have things to clean up that were underneath either the sink or that little area down there So I need to figure out what to do with all of those things and then I have all sorts of stacks of boxes over here 
and way more boxes over here. <laughs> Front of the room is looking so sad. And then there's just kind of boxes everywhere. I did just get a new bench though, which was really exciting. A fellow teacher posted that she was giving this out for free. And I said, yes, I would love it. So yes, I have a new little bench right there, which is super exciting. And then here is my like tower of boxes in the corner. <laughs> so we already moved out the bookshelf that was over here and like the canopy and all that fun stuff. And boxes have just taken it over. I have all my bins and stuff, not all of them, but I have a lot of bins over here and then way more boxes over this way. <laughs> so it's just like everywhere. Stuff is everywhere, but it is what it is. So yeah, that's what my room is looking like. And then also I have a little dress back here ready to go for the kids to decorate for the last days of school. So they're gonna decorate it throughout the week and then I'm gonna wear it on Friday. This is just from Old Navy. And I'm using, I found this little life hack on TikTok. If I can remember who posted it or find it, then I. I will tag the person who posted about it but she recommended using washable markers and then just using it year after year so getting some really good pictures in it so you can like save the pictures forever but that way it's more sustainable you're not like getting a new dress every single year because that's what I've done in the past and I'm like where do I put these and like when am I ever gonna wear them again <laughs> so this way we'll see if it works but I'm gonna have them use washable markers and decorate it all beautifully and then I'm gonna wash it and I'm gonna tell them I'm gonna do it so and also they'll see like they're very bright they'll see that they're washable markers and then I got some skinny ones as well if they want more like detailed ones and then I also have permanent markers but that is not for this I am doing a little hat that I found on um, the idea on TikTok for that too so I'm doing a hat for field date and they're all just gonna write their names on the hat and that will be like permanent but yeah so anyways have my fabric markers and my permanent mark markers over there but that is not for this project these are the ones for this project so actually maybe i should move these for now so yes there we go it'll be super fun as for the back of my room i have not taken down all of my decorations yet so that needs to still happen but it is a work in progress and my mom is actually planning on coming the next couple days like after she gets out of work too to help out with that kind of stuff so she's going to take down like the back wall and the lights and this tapestry and then my back room is looking a mess but it's because this was like every single thing that was in any cabinet or cupboard like it's all just back here now so I can see all of it so I'm still going through some of this stuff and then here are the hats so one of my co-workers she had this one and I'm just responsible for making them for all of us and then these are the other hats so yes I just have a bunch of hats right now and then I have my little Cricut mini press thingy like this little baby one it's so cute and I'm putting the little whatever what are these called patches I'm putting the patches on so this was the one she chose and then I have like the smiley face ones for the other ones and then we're gonna have our kids like write their names all over it and it will be really cute so I'll try to snag a picture of that and then I also have like all of these Capri Sun and fruit roll-ups and Skittles and stuff back here because we we're doing some minute to win it games as like for all of second grade for a fun little like last week of school type thing and that will be on Wednesday so I offered to just like be responsible for the signups and keeping all the stuff in my room so I have all that stuff back here so yes that's what's going on back here I'm also going to take my fridge home this week and there's just stuff everywhere back here it feels like but also there was like so much that was in cupboards and cabinets and stuff so makes sense so some of this stuff is going to our storage unit um some will go to my house and then some is just going to be like boxed up still if it's school stuff so yes that is the game plan also, like I said, like every single cabinet and cupboard and everything is cleaned out, which is a good feeling because now I know I don't need to like open anything else up again. Like it's all empty. So that's good. So everything that still needs to be packed, like I can see, which is good. So I'm getting there.
Okay, I'm a little bit out of breath because I just stacked a bunch of these boxes. So I'm like very, very sweaty, but I am just about to head out. So I wanted to quickly show you what the room is looking like right now. So I have lots of boxes in this corner. There are some that aren't all the way full, but I just wanted them out of the way because, you know, I have kids gonna be here tomorrow. So I just left them open for now and then I figured I'll pull them back down when I get a chance to start filling them up again. So overall, I think it's looking, I mean, not good because it's looking like there's boxes everywhere, but it's looking like I've made some serious progress. So I'll take it. So I'm going to show you around really quick and then I need to get out of here and head home so I can be home, you know, for a little bit tonight, get ready for bed, all that fun stuff. So anyways, I'm going to pull you off the tripod and show you around. Okay. So the main change is no more boxes over here. So yay. I have all of the boxes that were over there now over here. So yes, there's lots of boxes. And then also I tried to clear off the counter the best that I could. And then I have lots of boxes over here as well. I need to quickly clean off that table a little bit before I go. But overall, it's looking pretty good. Those are things that I need to take to my car a quick minute. I'll show you the back room. It's still looking pretty full, <laughs> but I tried to make some progress. I got some of the things cleared off of the counter so that's good and then these are things that I'm gonna have my mom like wrap up really well with like trash bags um, and then she's gonna stick those in her storage unit which I am appreciative for so yes that is what is going on in this space so like I said overall lots of progress made but wow does it ever look sad <laughs> All right, so that is all for this vlog. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe below. And also just let me know what you would like to see from me this summer because I will not have access to my classroom. So if you are willing to stay with me for some weekly or daily vlogs, I would love to bring you with me on those. I have some fun plans this summer. I have some trips planned and I would love to vlog those and share those with you. And then also I'm sure I will be doing some types of school stuff this summer at home as well. I know I'll be working on some TPT stuff so maybe I could make a video on that I don't know but let me know in a comment below what would you like to see I would love to make it and yeah thank you so much for being here with me it feels surreal that it's already the end of the school year so thank you so much and I will see you in the next one bye